G'day, my name is Mike and I'm here to teach you some mathematics the mathematics of logarithms. About 400 years ago a fellow named John Napier came up with a fantastic way to solve a big issue at the time. That problem was how to quickly and reliably perform the mathematical operation of long multiplication. Have you ever tried to multiply by hand, say, two four-digit numbers? Did you get it right every time the first time? Or were you unsure of whether it had been done right? You're not alone. But what is a logarithm? Put simply, a logarithm is a fractional power of some base number. First you choose a base number. For the moment, let us use 10 as our base. Now you know that 10 to the power of 1 is 10. 10 to the power of 2 is 100. 10 to the power of 3 is 1000 and so on. But did you also know that 10 to the power of 0 is 1? Or 10 to the power of minus 1 is 1 tenth? And 10 to the minus 2 is 1 hundredth? The logarithm is that power of 10. So the logarithm of 10 to the base 10 is 1. The logarithm of 100 to the base 10 is 2. The logarithm of 1000 to the base 10 is 3. The logarithm of 1 to the base 10 is 0. The logarithm of 0 0.1 to the base 10 is minus 1 and the logarithm of 0 0.01 to the base 10 is minus 2. Let's look at 10 to the power of 1 equals 10. I could rewrite that as logarithm of 10 to the base 10 is 1. For 10 to the power of 2 equals 100 I would write the logarithm of 100 to the base 10 is 2. For 10 to the power of 3 equals 1000, I would write the logarithm of 1000 to the base 10 is 3. What would I write for 10 to the power of 0 equals 1? I would write the logarithm of 1 to the base 10 is 0. You get the idea. When I write the logarithm, I put the base, in this case 10, as a subscript next to the little letter G. That tells me that I am expressing this logarithm to the base 10. But what about numbers that aren't an exact multiple of 10. What is the logarithm when a number is not an exact power of 10? What power of 10 should we use for this number? 3.1623 Well, to the accuracy of four decimal places, 3.1623 is the square root of 10. That means when I multiply 3.1623 by itself the answer is 10. Put another way, what should the logarithm of 3.1623 to the base 10 equal? There is only one sensible answer, and that is 0.5. That way, 10 to the 0.5 times 10 to the 0.5 equals 10 to the power of 0.5 plus 0.5, which equals 10 to the power of 1, which equals 
10. Notice that we have added the powers of 10 together. And that way, the square root of 10 times the square root of 10 equals 10. Now there are many powers of 10 and there are many numbers between powers of 10. What Napier had to work out was what fractional power these other numbers were. How he did that would be the subject of another video. To use logarithms you don't have to know how he did that you just have to know how to use logarithms. Let's pick two arbitrary numbers between 1 and 10. 4.815 and 9.360. If we wanted to multiply them directly we would have to use long multiplication. But Napier gives us a better way. The direct multiplication answer is 45.0684. Mr Napier would approach it as follows. First take the logarithm of each factor. These would be found within books that had tables of logarithms so that the logarithm of 4.815 to the base 10 is 0 0.68259 and the logarithm of 9.360 to the base 10 is 0 0.97128 now let's add these two logarithms remembering that we're really adding powers of 10 that gives 1.65387 we now have to work out what number that represents. For that we would use a table of anti-logarithms which would give us the number from that one. With that being 45.0682. To within the accuracy of the table of logarithms we have the correct answer. Let's suppose that we wanted to know what 4.815 divided by 9.360 equals. That's an even harder problem. We'd have to do that by long division. But if you did, you would get the answer 0 0.51442, which is about right. Now Mr Napier would also take the logarithms of each of these numbers again but this time subtract with the answer minus 0 0.28869. Here the minus indicates that we're dealing with a number less than 1. We now have to look up the anti-logarithm of this number to see what our final answer is. 0 0.51441 is pretty close. So when we divide one by number by another, we subtract the logarithms. To summarise then, the logarithm to a particular base of a product is the sum of the logarithms to that base. The logarithm of a quotient is the difference of the logarithms. John Napier has turned multiplication into addition and division into subtraction. This was a marvellous piece of technology. Note that if you're dealing with real numbers, which we have been today, 
then you can only take the logarithm of a positive number. You can't take the logarithm of 0 and you can't take the logarithm of a negative number. At least not the way that Napier has defined it. There is a way to extend this idea to using complex numbers but we won't deal with that today. Note that it is a matter of convenience or convention that we use the base 10 system. We can use some other logarithm base and the same rules will apply provided that we stick with one base for a given calculation. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video. Uh, goodbye.